I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the founder of the church I served as a bishop. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many others have made a similar journey into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about, people who want to share their story. So if you're a Latter-day Saint seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl, and I appreciate you spending some time with us. And hopefully this message today, is, as all of them that we try to give, uh, is one of hope. And um, anyway, I'm really happy to introduce to you Rachel Ellison. Yes. Ellison, sorry. Ellison, and you'll see the spelling on the screen. So, but uh, a sweet lady, and we're, we're going to hear her story. So, yeah, where were you born? I was born in Salt Lake. Oh, yeah? Yes. And then were you there for a long time? Or? My whole life. Were born you? and raised in West Valley City. Okay. Where'd you go to school in, high school? Hunter High. Oh, in Hunter. Okay. Yep. So, family active? Were they members of the church? Yes, very they active. Were? Yep. Okay. Mom and dad? Yep. And just in the brothers and sisters? How many did you have? I have, well, there's four besides, so five total. Yeah. Where do you fit in? I'm the middle. Oh, I'm one third. of those. Huh? <laughs> yep, uh, middle. <laughs> I, I could tell you about my middle one a little bit. <laughs> just kidding. But anyway, you're so uh, just normal Mormon kind of growing up. Did you go to church? Oh, yeah. We went to church yeah. every Sunday. Baptized at age eight, I guess. Yep. And yep. learned all the primary songs and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very active. Oh, my. That's all we knew. <laughs> yeah. And there really was never anything else. I mean, we didn't even... At our young ages, we never even thought of anything else, did we? I mean, no, not not aware of other churches, hardly even, or that no. they that they met and did good things <laughs> or anything. You just no, you're just Mormon, and that's that's all there was to it. Yeah, yeah. The only thing my dad would say was, uh, "Be nice to others, respect everybody, and be their friend, regardless if they're LDS or not." Oh. So well, that's good counsel. Yeah. So did you, you know, young women? I guess you went into uh, yep. young women. Yeah, and yep. I. See, when I was this, I was the Laurel advisor. I mean, the Laurel president. president I was oh. the in the Beehive presidency. The whole in the My Maid presidency. Yeah. I did the whole thing. <laughs> oh my, this sounds so familiar. Yeah. And so you <laughs> and you went to camps and kind mm -hmm. of and you know did you know what those camps usually bear a testimony, don't yep. you? Oh, you get yeah. a chance around the campfire or something. Oh, did yeah. Feel like you had a testimony of the church. Then, yeah. as, a, as a young person? Yeah, when, you know, yeah, when I was 12, yeah. we did the service, um, they called it a service scavenger hunt, Oh. where we'd go around and do work for other people if they wanted, and they could choose and ask us. Oh, to do something at their house, house to uh -huh. you know, clean could, the oven or something? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, if they wanted, or we could, they could ask us if they wanted to learn about Joseph Smith. Oh. And I remember um, this gentleman asking me about Joseph Smith. My goodness. And me telling him. Telling him the Joseph Smith story yeah. of how he saw God. Yeah, and, and he know. got the lessons from the sister missionaries right after, and he was baptized. And My goodness. And So that was a yeah, we always interesting had experience at, a, at 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Missionaries were always very part of our family, and really? it was always part of what we did. Yeah. So seminary, you took oh, seminary? Oh, yep. Yeah, graduated seminary yep. and all that. <laughs> so you base, I mean, you felt like the church was true, the Book uh -huh. of Mormon, did you get a chance to yep. look at that and mm -hmm. felt like that was true? And oh, yeah, did the whole <laughs> <laughs> full I, mean, I can't keep Mormon. pulling it out of you yep, any more I than that. It's just, <laughs> all right. So, um, again, you, that was just our life. It was yeah. just everything, it was our social, our uh, everything about our life was just wrapped in, wrapped in the church. Yes. So what happens after school then, after high school? Well, I didn't get married for several years later. Yeah. But I still went to church. I went to the singles ward, and I still... How was that? 
We don't. We haven't had too many uh, offer insights into the singles ward. Was that pretty not competitive, but was it awkward in a way, in its own way? You had I guess return missionaries in there, and then the single ladies, and uh, you know, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> okay. It was good. I remember. It was fun. I knew that I'd probably never marry any of them because oh. I didn't. <laughs> Just didn't connect with any of those. Huh? No, it yeah. was just okay. how I was. But I remember a bishop one time I had to um, repent, and he wanted me to send my stuff over email. Yeah, y your repentance process yeah. or something. Yeah, that you're, my, okay. My private. Yeah, stuff. Okay. And I remember thinking, uh, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Sounds a little digital. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I called my dad and I said, "Is this normal?" And he said, "No, don't do that." Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> and I thought, "Oh, good. Never saw that guy again." <laughs> and because I wasn't so, always innocent in my yeah, life, yeah, but. Yeah. Um, he, but I rem, I remember thinking at one point, because I had broke up with somebody, and I remember getting on my knees and praying, okay, Lord, I'm good with being single, I'm okay. If this is the way it's going to be. If this is the way it's supposed to be, <laughs> and then... Didn't you always think, well, it's going to work out in the millennium or something? Yeah, like something yeah. like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it'll work. Somewhere it'll work. Yeah. Lord will take care of me. So did you keep going to this uh, singles? Yep, I kept going to the singles ward, and i date, but yeah. nobody I would want to marry. Marry <laughs> for I time and all eternity. Yeah. And, yeah. and then I met my husband through work. and Oh, okay. And was he a Mormon? Yes. Okay. And so what happens then? You get married? We did get married. Yeah. We, um, and fast because we were both older. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we weren't one of those couples that needed to wait and... <laughs> Make sure. Or, yeah. I mean, to, and we, you're still married. And we're still married 15 uh, that's years later. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Any children? We have one. Okay. He's 13. Oh, good for you. Yeah. So when you all go to church together, he's active? Yes. And, and okay. And so yeah. what what goes on? You just well, yeah. live life and Yeah. Yeah. Then we, a year later <coughs> though we got sealed in the temple. Okay. We, so you went through the temple. Uh huh. How was that experience for you? Uh, everybody <laughs> <laughs> said It's not always a loaded question. I I guess. Know. It's like <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> My biggest concern was going through the temple was why are we separated? If that happens sometimes. I mean, it, it happens every time, but I mean, we're, the men are on one side, yeah, the, women the women are on, are on the other. other. If we're supposed to be an eternal family, why am I not sitting with my eternal spouse? I wonder if they'll ever change that. Because there is no real reason that we're no. separated. We're all in the same room, breathing the same air. <laughs> so yes, yeah. why are we separated? It's <laughs> bothered me. Yeah, I don't And know. I would ask questions about it, uh. and I used to... Um, <laughs> Why knowing all the information about the temple, and why do I have to know all the handshakes? And <laughs> yeah, it does seem a little strange, but you didn't really, I mean, you questioned it, but <clears throat> it was just what we did, right? Mm -hmm. I it's mean, what we did, and, and I family and did it, so it mm -hmm. must be, and we just need to keep going back to, mm -hmm. to make sure we can understand it mm -hmm. and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I asked my mom, is this normal? Is this yeah. right? And she's like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. You have to remember names and yeah. what your name I, is and all that stuff. I thought all that name. was weird too. Yeah. But I just. Okay. Had you ever done baptisms for the dead? Oh yeah. So you'd kind of been in the basement of the temple or mm -hmm. wherever they do those and yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So any so what happens in life to make my things? change? Yeah. What what? Well, <laughs> my husband happened. <laughs> he. Uh, and we'll get to meet him soon, yes. so that's we're excited about that. So yeah, he'll get to tell his story. But he um, asked the Lord one day, "Is this all there is?" And then the Lord said no, and showed him a whole bunch of things. And then oh dear. he left the church, and he started coming after me. And I your had husband a hard time. did, or mm -hmm. God? <laughs> 
my both, husband probably did. Both, but yeah, and both, but were, how, how were you? Pretty disappointed? I really was. It was I shocking, was, wasn't it? I was devastated. I, I had a really good friend whose husband, they had got divorced because he had left the church, and oh. I thought, you're destroying our family. I don't want to get divorced. What are you doing? I do love you, but, yeah. but what are you doing? You're, yes. You're ruining our eternal, eternal salvation. salvation. <laughs> What's going on? And oh, gosh. he said, oh, no, honey, come on. You got to look at this stuff. And I said, no, I don't want to look at it. Well, now you obviously had a strong testimony. I mean, oh, you, I did. Didn't I you say that you you were general conference watcher? Oh, and, yes. And just, I mean, you just... It was just your life. It was my it's, life. I yeah. was young women's president. I oh gosh, I was into it. <laughs> I had several callings at one point, and he said to me, "No more, no more callings. You're gone all the time to this church. Why are you? Oh boy, gone to this church all the time." And, I and here you've invested your whole life into this, and you want celestial glory or you want to be in the celestial kingdom and all that. And, yeah, and I said, And he comes Lord. up with something else. Yeah. Huh? So what, I guess, guess we'll hear from him, but what did he, what was he saying to you? Well, uh, he just showed look me at stuff this about stuff. Joseph Smith and okay. his history, which was very disturbing. And Had you ever heard any of this no, before? No, it was all lies. I, I mean, I have never heard it before, it, so I was yeah. shocked. Yeah, and you thought probably this this can't be true. Yeah, I was yeah. blown away, and I asked my parents, and what did they say? They said, "Oh, it's a different time." Oh, back then. Yeah. <laughs> Explaining away. Yeah, because yeah. you justify. Yeah. So it took my sweet, my poor husband. He <laughs> dealt with me. <laughs> it was for a couple of years, wasn't it? Was, it? it you was. were saying, yeah. It was a little over two years before. And you kept going to church? I kept going to church by myself and oh. I had a very strong, strong support system where yeah. we lived in Sandy. I, they were very... Okay. And everybody... Rallied around me. Praying for him to, mm -hmm. to find his way back and, yeah. and that wasn't going to happen probably. Oh no. Yeah. He was so against it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Well, did you spend? Were, did you become curious at all with with, with more stuff or, or the things he was learning, or did you even ask questions of him? And no, I just let him show me. I just said, okay, oh, to keep the peace, I'll look at it. Yeah. Because I didn't want to fight with him. Uh -huh. I found it more. I'd come home on Sunday after church, and we would fight, and I didn't like it. And yeah. so I would let him show me stuff instead of fighting. Yeah it wasn't worth it. Well, what um, you mentioned that you know of others, probably I do certainly, of people that have divorced over over this issue. So how were you able to be, you just you just loved him and you didn't want to? I loved did him. Did you figure God would work it all out? I did. What? I thought, well, God will work it out and we'll be okay and yeah. everything will be fine. And Get him to the millennium. We'll get him worked out. And yeah, straighten yeah. Him up a we'll be lot. okay. We'll just keep fighting through this. Yeah. and keep going. And well, you were brave to do that. He's he was so angry because he was so upset at the with church. Cause, yeah, because he had invested his mm -hmm. life to it too. We'll find out. But yeah, yeah. And so I thought, if you, if you have the truth, why are you so angry? Mm. And that was my whole question with him. But he goes, because they lied. And I've always been against liars. And so sure. he's like, how can you still believe in them when they're lying to you? And yeah. then he asked me a question. He said, tell me how many times they talk about Christ on Sunday. Did you start noticing yeah. that? And I thought, mm, they didn't bring him up. <laughs> they didn't bring him up. We, we see him at the end of the yeah, prayer. Yeah, in the end of the prayer, in the name of Jesus Christ, and in amen. in the sacrament prayer. Yeah. But other than that, it's pretty rare. It's pretty rare. And I noticed yeah. it was getting... Did you really notice it at yes, church? Yes, I noticed. I mean, you started paying attention. I, I started paying attention. Oh, boy. And it was that, and I thought, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> was he... Had he learned the negative? Did he have a, a relationship with Jesus at that point? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. oh he did. So he w he knew the good news the, about grace and what oh, yeah. Jesus had done, the sacrifice. Oh, was yeah. he sharing any of that with you? Oh yeah. Oh okay. 
Oh boy. Yeah. So it, it was hard because, you know, as the Mormons teach you in the atonement, yeah. it's the same thing, but they teach you that he did the atonement in Gethsemane, which is Gethsemane. the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so it was. They didn't talk much about this, his shed blood and. Yeah. Side, yeah. And yeah, it was just a little hard for us at the yeah. time, but I came around. <laughs> so you studied and, and decided, okay, I'm not going to just take his word for it. I mean, you started looking and... I started listening to more of the videos he was showing me and actually not letting it go in one ear and out the other and... Mm -hmm. Seeing that there might be something. Yeah, there. and yeah. started feeling the difference in me Yeah. and started knowing that there was a change. That you really sense that? I wasn't, that it wasn't all bad, that, yeah, that it wasn't, at first I thought, oh, this is terrible, and I had this terrible feeling inside of me, like, oh, what am I doing, looking at this stuff, because they tell you not to look at it. Right, right, right. And so after all of that, I thought, well, I'm going to really listen to him and mm. and hear what he has to say and listen to the stuff he's showing me. and. Well, did, was there a moment? Did you have kind of what you'd say a born again moment, or a yeah, okay, I, something really tipped me over the edge? I noticed the demeanor with him and my son, because my son had left the same time. Oh. As he did. Yeah. And they were just. More, How old was he? Uh, let's see, he's thirteen, so he was eleven. Oh. Okay. Ten and a half, eleven. So. He just went with dad. Huh? Yeah, he felt. Dad was telling him what was happening and they were reading the Bible and I kept offending him all how the time. Ba how bad that is. <laughs> right? And that's what I kept offending him to people. I said, well, he's reading. they're reading the Bible. How he bad is Jesus. it? He loves Jesus. Yeah, he loves <laughs> Jesus. What, how bad can it be? What, yeah. what can you say against that? I know. Isn't that funny? And they couldn't say anything. Yeah. No one could say anything to me. I said, they're not bad people. My husband is not a bad man. So yeah. I, I listened and I would go to church with them. Oh, you did? I went to church with them a few times. Yeah. Um, How, what did you think of that? At first, I was like, what is going on? Because <laughs> oh, it's totally different. A little different. But then... But you noticed how it was about Jesus. Jesus, and, and I loved it. Yeah. yeah. And, and you, you really do notice that it's... Notice huge. Then you can compa contrast that to the, to the Mormon. Yeah. The sacrament meeting, it's a little different. Totally different. Yeah. And they, how they relate it and how Rick, the pastor, how he teaches it yeah. was really, oh, I get it. Okay. I, yeah. I you understand hear it. it. You I understand, understand it. Yeah. Yeah. And then when he, you know, would do the call to the altar, I was sitting there and I swear he was staring right at me. Like, I'm looking at you. Oh, he did? And I, I didn't get up, you know. And yeah. Another week would pass by. I mean, we went to a Christian band oh, a concert. concert thing, yeah. yeah, and I was like, "This is cool," and yeah. met him. And, and then another call, you know, to the altar, and I was like, "Oh, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm not getting up." <laughs> and then one day, it's like my body just stood right on up. <laughs> like, I believe. <laughs> is that right? I need yes. I need this. This is right. This feels right. Mm -hmm. That's a tough decision, isn't it? it I mean, really you you were saying it almost felt like you were just. <laughs> okay, it was. It was I'm, I'm like there, my whole body just. But but if you stop to think about it, you say, "What am I doing here?" I mean, this is, yeah. But it's such a joyful message. It is. And you just it felt right. It did. It felt right, and then. Yeah. I embraced myself with. The church and just started going to. To the Christian church. To the Christian church. Did you start reading the Bible then? I do a women's Bible study, so I'm, oh, yeah. I'm doing that study part. How long has this been, by the way? Not very long. Yeah, I didn't I'm think not, so. It's um, less than a year for me. Uh, last March, March or April, March, I want to say. So it'll be two years this, this it'll March? It'll be this, a year this coming March. A year this March. But once your eyes are open and you sense that joy of what Jesus did for us, I mean, what else is there, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just, it's not like, okay, well, I'll try this out for a while and see if this works. And yeah. if not, I'll go back to Mormonism. I mean, you no. just, once you're, 
you know, that's so joyful. It was. It was yeah. great. It was great. Oh, I'll bet, I'll bet hubby was yeah. happy. <laughs> he was. He was shocked. When did you share it with him? What, how did you say that? I just stood up. Well, we watched this and video. And you were sitting there together. Yeah, we were sitting there together. <laughs> but I watched this video and of a lady who, done in the 60s, who was on the operating table and she had passed away or... She was Mormon, right? Yeah. Or something. And yeah. they didn't, she didn't mention it until further oh. in the, oh, in the video. And so I didn't know for sure what she was. And she's, she met somebody who had passed away a week before, so she knew that he had died. Okay. And he was, they were in hell, and she said, Wow. She said, uh, where are we? And he goes, get out. This is not what you think. This religion is not good. Get out. Save yourself. Get out. Yeah. And there was other things, and she came yeah. back into her body and she so she related this story of, yeah of how she was and that she relate and she felt that was her her mormon religion that yeah. so he was telling him to get to to leave and so, so that it was like this eye opener for me and that's when i said to him oh i'm done i'm done i can't that scared me i'm done <laughs> <laughs> so when you stood up i guess he was thrilled and yeah thought, he was oh. he was thrilled oh uh, he was thrilled well it I'm just so glad that you were able to do that together now. I mean, it took a couple of years, and I guess you put him over the coals, and he probably put you under pressure too. And but that so the marriage is certainly uh, good now, and and uh, no thought of divorce or anything. Oh no, you know, <laughs> certainly over religion. But uh, oh, that's great. So what do you? I mean, you're so active in the church, and it's your whole life. Um, some of the things that we always ask about, like grace and so on, how did you understand grace as a Mormon? Did you sense anything about it? I mean, we don't really talk about it other than that one verse in Second Nephi, you know, we're saved by grace after all we can do, but it's really not a word we use, is it? No. We say we, in, but the Mormons use. Yeah, as in, no, they don't say grace. No, it's just not a... They use the atonement. Yeah. They, yeah. And it's and it's after all we can do. Uh huh. After everything we done and do. Like and that third article of faith, you know. Yeah. We believe in the atonement of Christ as mm -hmm. long as uh, we do the principles and or uh, covenants and so on. Yeah. Yeah. As long as yeah, we work our butt <laughs> off and we. <laughs> yeah, and and we keep the law. Law. <laughs> right. Yeah. Which. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. It so, changes too much to for me to. Yeah keep up. I had that question too that I thought if the church is true why does it change so much? Why do they change their principles yeah. so much? Because You didn't does. realize that as a Mormon no. though, did you? Mm -hmm. I mean they never talk about that. Mm -hmm. I mean there's so much they don't talk about and I don't know, I mean I know people have defined lying uh, in terms of the fact that if you don't say all the truth then that's a form of lying. It's certainly a form of deception. And I sense that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I certainly didn't as a Mormon. I oh, just no. didn't know this stuff. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. But there's so much that should be said, or but they're afraid to say it. Yeah. Aren't they? They're, it would crumble. <laughs> yeah, it would crumble even faster. Faster than we hope yeah. it is. But <laughs> <laughs> so the Bible means a little bit differently yes. to you. Yes, and it's funny as I read it now, it's easier to understand than it was before. Yeah. It does make more sense, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah I read the Bible, and there were verses in there that I'd never. I mean, I'd read the Bible before, but I don't know where they came from. But those verses just mean so much now. And yeah, yeah. So, anything you'd like to say to your family and friends? We're actually getting down toward the end here. I but hope that they find the truth and that they listen. Yeah. Because. So far, <laughs> they're not too key on it, but at least they still love me and your family. Yeah, has that been hard? Oh, Mom really hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What have they? Have you been able to share, or do they even want to know? Is it just kind of the elephant in the room, so to speak, and you just don't talk about it? Definitely the elephant in the room. We don't really talk about it, but I've decided that I'm not going to hide it from my mom and dad. Yeah. I'm just going to bring up what I do. Yeah. Well, and, and we're, you're a new Christian. Mm -hmm. I mean, a, a babe in Christ. Mm -hmm. I feel, I'm out six, 
six years now, and I still feel like I'm learning so much. Mm -hmm. So it's almost hard in some ways to answer questions that they might have yeah. about, well, what do you really believe and what do you think about this or that? And so you're, you're kind of scrambling to learn everything that probably the Christian life has. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can say to them is you're going the wrong way because <laughs> Jesus did it all already. <laughs> yeah. And, and that just isn't a message that... No. Yeah. Now, you've been through the temple. Yes. You guys were married in the temple? Yes, we were. That's right. You said that. Yeah. Um, and, and he's just not really mentioned there either. No. I mean, you mentioned it about church and all, but he's just not part of that. I mean, he's he's a part. He, he gets told what to do, and he comes back and says he did it and yeah. that kind of stuff. But he, you don't sense any sacrifice on his part. Uh, they, they don't relate his crucifixion or no. <clears throat> even Gethsemane they don't put in there. But uh, that's just interesting, isn't it? It is. Had you ever thought of that? <laughs> I never even put the temple part with it. Yeah, until, yeah. but he isn't uh, really not, the... No critical part. Which is sad. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd encourage people to study. Don't you think that's uh, oh, yeah. maybe have a little curiosity about, and uh, did you ever hear the gospel essays when you were, they came out, I guess, before you left. Had you heard of, uh, about the gospel topics or I gospel essays? My husband told me about some of that before, but, but other you didn't than hear, that, no. You didn't hear about it in church. Mm -mm. I wonder if, are they Put it being a little more open with those or telling people that they're there? Do you th have you sensed any of that before? I didn't know any of it. And I mean, you're the newest I Christian know. I know, actually, <laughs> so I'm wondering if, if you had heard any of this I hadn't stuff. heard any of it, See, literally just any of it. It's shocking to me that yeah. the church would, what, 13 essays or something, and describing some of the polygamy and some Book of Abraham and stuff. and. And they don't talk about it. No, they don't. I think it's just, okay, well, we did it. It's there. And uh, they can't say we didn't talk about it. Yeah, I don't know if that's it, it or not. Yeah. If they want to, they can find it. Okay. I well, yeah. we're almost done. But any, any last minute to anybody? No, I just hope they... You feel good, though? Yeah. You, you love the Lord? And, I do. Yeah. I'm happy. That's joyful. And, we're content. And there's such freedom, isn't oh, there? Yes. The burden of... And the guilt of yes, not measuring of up. Yeah, yeah, I always wondered. Oh, I hope I'm good. Have I done enough? enough. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to worry. Uh, well, you would have been a wonderful young women's president. <laughs> I would have. I would have called you in to work with the young women because you're such a sweet example of Thanks. what we expect. But I'm so sort of glad God came and touched your heart. And, Me too. And uh, certainly, I guess your husband is to blame for some of that. But <laughs> at least got you thinking. But yeah, he's good. Well, thanks, Rachel. I appreciate you. you coming and sharing. And again, I say, if you don't, you're not following the gospel of Joseph Smith. Uh, you should be following the gospel of Jesus Christ. See ya.